and today we're doing the uh, tutorial to uh, the magic trick best friends um, if you've not seen the performance yet please click the annotation on the screen um, to go check out the performance um, that way you know what's going on here what trick's happening so let's go ahead and start it um, to this trick there actually is a setup in the very beginning um, this is a very good trick though I recommend you trying it because um, I actually really like this trick so well not really really like it but I think it's a neat little trick and um, it works well so for the trick, I'm actually going to show you the deck. I have my deck already set up. And as you can see, you see red, black, red, black, red, black. And everything is paired up. You need to do that at the beginning of the trick. This is red, red. It doesn't really matter if it's red, red, or like black, black. I just go red, black, red, black, red, black, just because I, I do. So it doesn't really matter. But what you do to do the beginning of the trick is with your whole deck is pair up each card. So the red eights go together. The black gates go together. The red jacks go together. The black jacks go together. And they have to be together. And all you do is you pair it up and you just have the whole deck set up just like so. How you see, like two nines are here, two aces are here. And it doesn't matter, like, like I said, it doesn't matter what um, order it is in, numbers and all that doesn't matter because uh, the spectator is going to be selecting their three. Well, you can do two to three cards. Um, yeah, so two to three cards. And you, I'll show you why you only do two to three cards in a second. But um, the spectators can select a random two, three cards. So they're going to select whatever they want to. It doesn't really matter uh, where's where because they're randomly selecting. So you're then, um, at the beginning of the trick, I did a one, 190 helix uh, cut. That's a false cut. What you do is basically you take the top, you flick it back, pull this down, split the other into two, spin it, thumb spin it, which I always fail with the thumb, and then put it down. And um, the deck doesn't actually, the deck doesn't even move. Right now you see the 9's on the top and the 8's on the bottom. I'm just going to do the 190 Helix again. And um, I think I'm soon going to do bring out a tutorial um, on how to do, oops, I lost it there, of how to do this soon. Um, just so you guys know what I'm doing. And um, on the top is the 9 still, and on the bottom is the 8. And the whole deck didn't even change at all. Because basically all you're doing is taking the top, I'm going to show it one more time. The top goes here. Taking the bottom of the deck. Put it on the bottom. So the bottom stay on the bottom. And when you split this, you're putting the first one down, spinning it like that. The first one's down. So basically, and here's the one. When you spin it again, we use your thumb but hit there. And then here's the top. So basically, the deck doesn't change at all. That's the 190 helix cut. Uh, I'll try to get a tutorial on that soon so you guys can see it. Just search YouTube and you'll find a tutorial and you'll be able to learn it easily. Um, so then you can go ahead and start the trick. Now, when you start the trick, you can say, okay, I want you to select any card. Show them, then we're showing this side of the cards. If you show them the side of the cards, they're going to know you're doing something. So say, all right, I want you to select any card. They'll select their first card, and when they select their card, all the cards above that card, so they select this card, all the cards above it, you cut it to the bottom. And then all you're going to do is flip over the top card and say, okay, so your first card is a five. Now, what you want to do here is you want to tilt it a bit, and you want to get a view at the bottom card, because what happens is, you gotta give you the bottom card because when you cut it, the five then, which is gonna be the match of this one, is gonna be right here. So now you got to remember that the five is on top of that one, and this is why you only do two to three because you don't want to forget. So you know that the five is on top of that. So then all you gotta do is close the deck up, and say okay, thank okay. Then you say all right, select another card. So they'll go through, they'll select another card. All the cards above their selected card go to the bottom. Well, cut to the bottom, flip over the card. There's the queen. Then you wanna get a, the bottom card. Uh, oh look, that's the ace of spades. Uh, what's going on here? Now you know when you cut it, because the ace of spades, this isn't its mate, that, oops, yeah, <laughs> oops, that when you cut it, the queen isn't, or the queen isn't going to be here. It's going to be right there. So again, the view of the bottom card, if it's its mate, the one on top of it is going to be the mate. And um, if it's not, which was the ace here on the bottom, you know that their queen is going to be below their face card there. And you do it again. You say it one last time, please select any card. They'll look through. They'll pick the one right here. All the ones at the top go to the bottom, just like this. All right, flip the top card over. It's the eight of hearts. You have your bottom card. You see it's the four. So then you know that the eight is right here. Cut it. And now you say, okay, so you selected three face-up cards. And they were the positive randomly in the deck, and you can see them all. Now you gotta remember from here, okay? So now all I'm gonna do is pull out your three cards and the card next to them. Now remember the eight, it's below it, so we're gonna take it out just like that. We keep going through the queen, remember, it's below it. 
take it up like that, and you keep going. And the five, remember it was on top, so you put it like that. Now you take the rest of the deck, just put it aside, and you're sitting out here. You're gonna go and tell the spectator like, okay, um, you saw me mix up the cards at the very beginning of the trick. Um, then you want to select a random three cards. Make sure I mean, you want to tell them. Make sure they really know that they selected all random three cards, and then the cards are just posited um, in the middle of the deck. And then you say something like to the magic effect, like, um, and it, sometimes magic can make funny things happen. And um, just like this, you put you just put your cards in randomly, and just like that, you found the mates of each and every single card. The same uh, color and the same sweet, I uh, don't know, sweet, uh, the same value, whatever, <laughs> same face card, <laughs> but, um, so that is a very good trick, you can even do it like I did, um, the former to a little, like, a uh, snap of the deck, a little flick of the hand, a little magic move if you want to, whatever, have them blow in the deck, whatever, tap it, whatever, um, just make create a little story at the end, and that is how the trick works, so basically, all you gotta remember, um, and they pick their card, the top goes to the bottom of the card, flip with the card, it's the ace of heart, get it with the bottom card, and if it's mate, and you know when you cut it, the card is going to be above the face of card. Um, I'm going to try it again, I want to get one to the bottom, the top goes to the bottom, flip with the top card, here's a three in the bottom, so now you know that this, that this mate's card is below the face of card. Cut it, and that is basically all you need to know for the trick, and then in the end, I gotta do is pull it out like you know how it is, and you flip the cards over after you tell your little story or whatever, and you find the mates of every single card. Alright guys, that has been the tutorial for uh, Best Friends, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, I said this on my uh, performance, uh, but post a comment below telling me uh, my next, I've done the blue deck for a few tricks now, but the next trick, post below and tell me what color deck you want me to use. I'll probably use the ghost deck or the 1800. So tell me what you guys think. Other than that, guys, I want to thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe. Check out the description. I'm there how to get some free stuff. Um, everyone loves free stuff, so check it out. Sign up. It's free. And um, other than that, guys, I want to thank you very much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys soon. I'm going to be the upgraded new Negro. I'm going to be 